what is up guys this is Mike and this is a new series I'm gonna do so obviously the 25 moves of Christmas I did that series and the response was pretty fucking awesome to be honest the response is yeah this it all went down really well and obviously I've I've got like 70 Moabs or something like that and uh, a lot of people are always asking me you know well, what are the best ways to get Moabs how do I get Moabs you know can you give us some tips on getting Moabs so uh, I thought I would do this series so um, what I'm going to be doing is showing you different maps and different game types and trying to show you the best way to you know achieve Moabs on those particular maps or those particular game types you know uh, if you don't want to, you know, hear about the gameplay, or you want to be hearing stories or something, you know, these videos probably won't for you. These videos will, you know, primarily be around tips and, you know, trying to give map strategies out, and, you know, trying to give, you know, just basic tips on, uh, you know, helping you guys try and achieve uh, a Moab or a goal, or maybe just better score lines in general. So, on these videos, they're not going to be the best. They're not going to be the best mobs, they're not going to be the quickest mobs, they're not going to be the most entertaining mobs, but what I'm going to be trying to show you is the best way to achieve the mobs. So I'm going to be doing different game types, uh, I'm going to be doing different, you know, different game types, different maps, and different, trying to trying to give you some as variation as possible. So this one is Demolition, and I'm going to be doing some free for all and some domination, maybe not as much like team deathmatch and such because the spawns are swapping, and I'm going to try. Uh, my voice went, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to be trying giving out on, you know, game modes where I think will be easiest for Moab. So, Demolition, Free For All, and Domination, where I can kind of point out spawns, I can kind of point out, you know, map tips. And we'll try it, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, and we'll see how the feedback goes, and we'll see, you know, overall how the video turns out. And if you guys do enjoy it, we'll do some more of these, and if not, then we'll just cancel the series. So, anyway, uh, this one is Demolition, and uh, Demolition on Sea Town. Now, as you guys know, I uploaded my first and only double Moab on Demolition Arcaden and I kind of shown you guys I try to catch it, look at this, boom <laughs> I kind of tried to show you guys how to Moab on Demolition Arcaden and people were like, you know, that's actually, you know, it works because someone was like, you know, I tried this and I got a Moab first game and it, it the strategy worked but like I said, it's not the most entertaining and this one's a bit more entertaining, you know, it's not like straight up camping but we're playing on Demolition, like I said, and I skipped out the first round because I got like 6 kills and we just rush planted and we got the game done with and look at this, I'm 4 away from a Moab one, two, three, you're gonna pop a real. Oh, what the fuck was that about? One off a Moab and I die. So, uh, I uh, restart, try again, and get my Moab. So, this is a bit of a double Moab fail, actually. So, it's kind of unfortunate. Now, anyway, Demolition on, demolition on Sea Town. Okay, so if you're on offense where you're planting the bombs, it's. You know, you don't want to be doing that. You, you just like pretty much just rack up rack up some quick kills get get offense done with and go back up to defense because de playing on defense 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 playing on defense is a lot easier to get mobs because you know where the enemies are going to be going because they're going to be running towards the bomb sites and they're going to be wanting to plant the bomb sites and if they do plant it they're obviously going to be rushing to try and defend it so you always know where the enemies are coming from and if you know the spawns you know the direction of where they're going to be coming from so demolition arcade and you have two sorry demolition sea town you have two spawns you have the back church um, I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean I want to put like a little map in the corner and highlight it but I really don't know how to like do all the Photoshop shit but you have two you have two main spawns okay so you always have two main spawns and if obviously if you're not standing in both of those spawns they will continually spawn there so you've basically the back corners of the map all right but you know there's a little building where they're going and there's you know this little church kind of thing and they'll always be coming out of those spawns so if they come out of those spawns they've got pretty much three exits they've got the building above me right now they have the middle middle tunnel where i'm looking at right now where that, that enemy just came out of and they have the right flank towards that uh, beast beast b bomb site so you want to be staying away from the middle, but you want to be staying away from, really from where I am right now. Uh, we called in an advanced UAV, so I really knew where the enemies are. This is a main spawn point in that little building there, and the building behind me where I'm looking at right now, that is also a main spawn point. So you're going to be kind of watching your back. Uh, I knew, you know, we had an advanced UAV in the air, so I knew they weren't where they were actually going to be spawning. So you don't want to be, you know, out in the open all the time. You want to kind of situate yourself in a position where you know where the enemy is going to be coming from. So if you saw at the start, I was in the middle building for a while. They planted their eight, you know, down that B bombsite and all I was doing I must have picked up like 10 kills just defending that bombsite and it was really easy to kill for me to pick up and um, you know you don't want to overstay your welcome in a certain area so you know I picked up like maybe seven kills or so and I thought you know the enemies are gonna know where I am they're gonna be trying to nade me you know if you stay in an area long enough the, 
you know, the enemies are going to be realised, you know, he's, he's in this building, fuck this, I'm going to need him, blah, 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 blah. So you don't want to overstay your welcome in any area, so you want to be like, getting a couple of kills or and move out of that position. You don't want to be sat in one building because you're going to get needed, you're going to get sniped, you're, you're going to get fucked over, really. So I got out of that building, and then I kind of just ran around. I kind of ran around in their spawns, in their spawns and uh, fortunately we had some advanced UAVs in here, so it was helping out a lot. And I kind of just stayed around the middle, you know, the general middle of the area, but you've always got to watch the main routes, and the main routes so where they're going to be coming out of so you know obviously they already planted the a bomb site so they're going to be going to this b bomb site so if you just basically watch the routes to that b bomb site it's going to be easy kills and if you want to stay in this middle building and hope for the best you can do that i kind of wanted to stay in this building if you stay in this building it's going to push them back into the church spawn so you know where they're going to be spawning anyway and also this is a key make the most of your perks if you've got all your perks, make the most of them. You've got Marksman, you've got Recon Pro, you've got everything like that. Make the most of them. What I've been doing recently is when I get Recon Pro, I've been using flashbangs. I won't use my flashbangs until I get all my perks. I chuck a flashbang in the spawn and Recon Pro shows me where they are. It's really good. Make the most of your perks, make the most of your spawns, make the most of the map knowledge. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it for this one. So uh, we'll try and we'll see how another one goes. We'll see the response on this one. If you want to see more of these, then tell me and like the video. And um, we'll talk about more in depth on the next video for sure. But this was a quick one. I'll see how this video goes down. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I will see you all later. Have a nice day. Goodbye.